Hello everybody, this is Benjamin Scott Stahl II. You can just call me Ben. This is the third tutorial in my series, iOS Development Tutorials. And our last tutorial, Tutorial Zero, getting started, went into signing up for the iOS Development Program, getting into your iOS Development Portal, using Xcode and Organizer to set up your provisioning profiles, your research, and your device and actually getting things prepped so that you could actually create your first app on your device. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and load up Xcode here. And with our dialog, we're, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just create a new Xcode project. We're going to choose Window-Based Application, leave all the defaults, product should be iPhone, uncheck core data. We'll eventually get into the details what these other templates and, and choices mean. But let's just stick to the basics, window-based application. And hello, Coco Touch. And this is the follow in the footsteps of most first apps you write, Hello World apps. But with a little bit of a twist using UI Kit for iOS. So this is our project. I'm going to go ahead and expand these. Go over some of the stuff fairly quickly. So the, basically, this is your project template, groups, classes, other sources, resources, and frameworks and products. Uh, classes are class files. Other sources, we get a pre-compiled header, our main file, which is where everything starts at your entry point, your main function, just like in most C apps. You then have resources of, for your main Windows zib, your Hello Cocoa Touch info plist file. The Hello Cocoa Touch info plist file is important. It's the first file that's opened as part of the launch process of the app bundle. It looks at this file and reads it in and looks at various uh, key values, keys and their values here. Uh, important ones uh, that we'll talk about now, there's a lot of important ones, but the ones we'll talk about for right now is the bundle identifier. This is, we discussed this a very uh, briefly in, in, so, in the last tutorial where we talked about uh, various things your app will you know, be able to do or not do based on your bundle identifier being fully qualified or wildcard. For development and debugging purposes and for the initial setup where we're getting started, we did a wildcard one. So we can actually make this anything we want. I'm just going to go ahead and make this my last name or whatever. Um, and then, of course, another key value pair is this main nib file base name. This specifies the file name of the main, uh, uh, basically the first nib, the main nib. And you'll notice that main window, and that's basically what it, so it goes and launches and loads this main window file here. Um, you may ask why is there no extension here. The, the, the reason why is because nibs, nib is next interface builder file, is an actual binary file that's an object graph archive of your interface. And zibs are XML versions of those. So they're, they're very, you know, they're much easier to read. Declarative, you can go in and actually modify them if you want to in the XML. And Interface Builder generates an XML file, and then when it compiles the app, it goes through a process of converting the XML version into a binary version. So anyway, main window, loads that up. And the default uh, state, as you come in here, uh, I, I believe most cases is going to be something like this, where you have your main window, and you have your document interface. And I like to use the mo there's view modes over here. The one I like to use is the list mode because, I mean, this is great because it gives you this interface, like, you know, it's basically really pretty, really nice looking, you know, 3D, you know, 3D views or 3D objects here. But I like the list mode because it, it, it gives you the actual hierarchy. So as you add your views to the window, you actually will start seeing that they, they belong to the window. And then you actually can see the Z order. So let's go ahead and do that. Two other views that are important um, you want to do is uh, the library. And the inspector, you'll use a lot. Uh, the library is all the other types of views and view elements, controls that you can use inside your app. We're going to put on a button. Interface Builder is a great tool. You're going to learn to really love it. It's got, it does all kinds of great little cool things. Um, sorry, lost myself there. Label. And you see we got our visual style guides here kicking in. Going to center that over here. And I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of that. And then in our button, I'm going to double click and I'm going to set the text for the, the button. And that's our interface. Now, if you notice over here, you expand it 
and there's our views that belong to the window. The one at the very bottom is the topmost Z index object. So the label is literally the topmost view inside our window. Um, so that's why I said I like this this view here. So um, so you can actually change the orders just so you know, like you know, and this will be kind of something kind of useful so you get into stuff you can see relationships a little better here. So anyway. Um, so we've laid out our interface, right? And so we've got this button and we've got this label, but we want, we want to talk to these interface objects through code, right? So we want to write code and then be able to basically link up our code, uh, properties, our code variables to the actual objects in the interface. And that's, so that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to go to the app delegate class here. And we're going to create two new IVARs. Uh, one of the things over here in Interface Builders, if you notice, if you highlight the label, it's a UI label. And the button is a UI button. All, all the classes for UI kit begin with the prefix UI. So UI slider, UI switch. Um, so as you go through these, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that. So basically, we're, we've got a UI button and a UI label. So we want to create variables. We're going to do that now. So we're going to create a label. We're just going to call that hello label. And we're going to create a UI button. And guess what? We're going to call it hello button. Now let's go ahead and create properties. Um, this is part of, in the last tutorial, I said, you know, I kind of expected you to somewhat have a entry level uh, tutorial on Objective-C uh, 2.0, Objective-C stuff. And uh, you, as you read the guide or a book, you'll get into properties. And so we're just going to go ahead and create properties here. I'm just double clicking and whoops and copying and pasting because I'm lazy like that. And uh, so we now we've created, you know, labels and now we need to synthesize the labels, right? And that's going to generate our, our basically our, our setter and accessor and our, uh, uh, setter methods. So we're going to do the hello label here. And we're going to do our hello button. Now you can put these in the same line. I just usually break them out. Um, but if you wanted to put all these in one line, so probably commas, you can. Um, so now we've, so we've synthesized it. We've added our properties. We have them. And now we want to hook these up. And you'll notice this syntax hint, ID outlet. This is literally to let Interface Builder know, hey, I'm specifying these properties as outlets that I you can connect objects to. So if we go back to Interface Builder now, we'll see here if I right click on this is the Cocoa Touch App Delegate. So this particular object here is tied to that class. So that's this is the this is what we're talking to here. I'm going to right click or control click, and we will get this um, this window here that basically specifies outlets and you'll notice hello button and hello label and so check this out if I just go and erase this save come back see that disappear so it's remember this it's it, this tells you it's synchronized this this from down here that's green it says hey synchronized project class information so it's reading these changes as I make them so if I do that now and come back boom pops right back in so let's go ahead and connect these I'm actually going to control click or right click. I'm sorry, can, you can just actually just um, left click on these. And I'm just going to drag a line and I'm going to connect it to an object. One of those great things is it's, it, it, it's context aware of the objects that you're, you're trying to connect to. So it's not going to let me connect to a label because it's a UI button and it, can't, it, it knows that's not a UI button, but this is. And you'll notice it does highlight. So I'm going to connect that. And the same thing with the label. If I try to connect it here, it's not going to work. But if I go over a UI label, hey, it highlights and lets me connect it. So now we've just connected those properties specified as outlets. We've connected those to these actual interface objects. So we're going to save that. And we're going to save the code here. And now what do we want to do? We want this button, when we press it, to perform an action. It's exactly what we're going to create. It's called an action, IB action. So we're going to go over here and create a new method. It's going to be called IB action, and we're going to just call this hello, hello Coco Touch. Just something I want to show you quick, real quick here. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and paste that here and get the body ready. So, so basically, IB action. If you if you were to you know jump to the definition on this, this is literally just a defined avoid. It's it's just void. That's all it is. It's a syntax hint. So this is literally just same same thing as doing this, but it's basically specifying a syntax into I to interface builder that this is an action. So that's how it knows. So now interface builder knows, hey, I, there's an action available on your in, inside the, the header file here, inside the code. And so if we go over here inside the delegate, it knows. So if I go here now and I right click, I get a list of events on a button. And the one we care about right now is called touch up inside, which means you you touch it and you let go while you're inside the button, while you're inside the frame. So we're gonna basically grab that one, left click, drag a line over to here, let go on the app delegate, and up pops a list of actions that are available. Hello Coco Touch is now there. Click on that, and now we are connected. When we tap on this button, it's going to call the, it's gonna, it's going to basically send the Hello Coco Touch message or call that method. So let's save all that. Let's go up here, run this in the simulator, debug, we're gonna build and run. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm jumping away on myself here. We gotta define the actual, what's it actually gonna do now. So this is where we say, hey, let's go ahead and change the text of the label. And we're gonna say that it's hello, Coco Touch. And we're gonna go ahead and disable just for fun. Um, you know, even better, let's just go ahead and hide it. Hidden equals yes. We're going to make that button hit the moment we tap on it. So let's go ahead and build now. And there's our interface. And we're going to go ahead and tap on Hello Coco Touch. And our button disappeared and the label has been set. So that's it. So let's just review what we did here. Once again, um, main window gets loaded. It looks to the uh, delegate class which I'm going to explain that next here for a few minutes. But So it, it looks to this class. It we, we, we added a couple objects. We added a button and a label. And then we wanted to connect those by specifying outlets. And then we, we created an action for the button to call out. And these are really basic concepts. And you're going to be using a, you're going to use, use Interface Builder a lot. It's a great tool. And there's reasons to use it. Apple tells you to use it. And there's reasons why. Um, and uh, so, you know, delegates, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, actions. And outlets are everything about Interface Builder. Anything you want to connect to as an outlet and anything you want to make, create an action or a method to, to call out from the interface to do something or perform something is an action. And that's why those are really key concepts that we want to get down today in this tutorial. And so we created our label and buttons. We created properties. We then um, connected those in Interface Builder um, by you know connecting the actual objects. And... Uh, and then we created our action, and in our action we actually performed the code that we wanted to, to do on those on those objects. So the question is, what is this whole delegate thing about, right? Delegates is another concept as you kind of read through things in Objective C and Mac OS X App Kit and design patterns. A delegate is a is an object that you can assign to another object that that follows a protocol or a type of interface that basically you're going to delegate messages to. You're going to you're going to send out messages and call methods on the delegate object. Okay? And it can, so it can be whatever you want it to be. Now, all applications have a UI application singleton that they represent, all, all applications do. And you'll notice in the main window nib, right, that files owner is a UI application. And that's one of the things as you start to use interface builder files, every every interface builder file has a files owner. It's basically saying, you know, basically what type, you know, what owns this interface builder file? You know, what owns this nib? What, it, what am I? And so this particular main window nib is a UI application, okay? And a UI application has a property called delegate. So if you were to actually look up the documentation for UI application, um, basically it has delegate methods it calls. So let's just do this real fast, look these up. And you'll notice inside here, there's a property, delegate. And you can assign to the delegate property a delegate object. And it must follow the UI application delegate protocol. If we click on this, there's various methods 
or messages that get called out to that delegate object. You can read about all these 